everybody, welcome back to Windling Farms. I don't think there's much dew out there this morning. I let this truck sit out overnight and uh, there wasn't any dew on it. Maybe we could start cutting early this morning. There is one issue about cutting early this morning. Uh, late last night when we were finishing up, the center draper belt on my head uh, was, was giving me problems. So. I think it was slipping. I hope it was slipping because that'd be just as simple as tightening up the belt and then we'd be good to go. I uh, hope it wasn't that hydraulic motor going out. So we'll figure that out when we get to the field. There wasn't any dew on my pickup this morning. Wow. So you know what that means. Let's start cutting. We got to figure out what's going on with my draper belt. Grandpa's hooking us up to the Thunder Creek. Alrighty, let's go to the field. If you go to these outside ones, tight. You can't. You can't move. You can't move them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's loose. Alrighty, no need for the manual anymore. I know what's going on. You ready? Stand back. How to get so loose or them? Yeah, so we're just we're tightening up uh, on both sides here. Combine full fuel? Yeah, he's putting that on. I'm gonna put this with big old glob of grease gonna drop on me now. Yeah, this one just dropped right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run it and see. Ain't running at all. Uh oh. Okay, we tightened up the belt a little tighter. I don't know how old the belt is in the center. Uh, the, the wing ones, those are new. But the center one's a few years old, so it's definitely stretched a little bit. Uh, we tightened it up pretty good, and uh, we seem to be in good shape. So we're gonna unhook this head and head to the field. I really hope it works well when we get some crop through it. I think the old auger cart is going to need to move before I can get to the head cart. This field split up by this ditch. Um, so there's 20 acres on the west side and 20 acres on the east side. So Dad's taking care of the west side now. I'm making my way over to the other 20 acres. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're cutting. The center belt, she's feeding good now. I guess all it needed was tighten up a little bit. We were wondering about that motor. Uh, but we took a look at it when I had it running. We could see it turning and then the belt was not moving. So the belt just needed tightened up. Probably should look into getting a new belt for this next year. Um, we can get through the season fine. Uh, in the off season, we'll put a new center belt on this thing. So dad's hogging the auger cart. We've only got one of them over here. So I got stuck dumping my hopper loads on the semi. I wonder if he can uh, catch me on the go here. I'll tell you what, it's not very easy to judge this auger dumping in the truck just because it's so high. I almost like to tip the spout down, see some beans dribble out of it, and then make sure I'm actually getting in the hopper before I start unloading. Because yeah, that's a long way. It's a long way to the trailer. Finishing up here, last through. Sure didn't take long to knock this out. We're 
coming up on the bridge here that used to get used back in the day. Yeah, I don't even know if I'd want to walk across that. Holy cow. It's falling apart. Oh, I see it there. Yeah. Here we go. Dad's over there on the north end. He's getting that end taken off, and I'm working on the south. We got a heck of a breeze out here today. The flag. Flag's looking good out there. I don't know if you guys heard that in the video, but I think I just shucked a chopper knife. Yep, I definitely lost a chopper knife. I can feel it and hear it humming. You feel a little bit of a vibration and I can hear it have a little hum noise. I don't know if the video picked it up, but while I was dumping on the go there, I heard a, a bang. And uh, then the machine started humming and vibrating. So, lost a chopper knife. Good thing I got one with me. I wonder if that's fresh. I know these two have been here. That one looks new. And that would be from a chopper knife getting flung out of the back of the machine. chopper knife here in the toolbox. I don't have enough hands here to hold all my tools and the camera at the same time. Oh, wait. Maybe I can get this all in one trip. I need to throw a few more chopper knives in that toolbox. stand on the sieves there and bend them down because you can't put your knees here on this and that in between the sieves because that'll hurt your knees so you got to stand on them and kind of crouch over but we're fixed up and in good shape i'm gonna put this stuff in the toolbox close this back down and get back to cutting that's more like it Another one down, making my last through here. Alrighty, let's go to the next field. Picked up a hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. About time you run this and I go home. We're about done with this field and then we're taking these babies to the farm. Mm -hmm. 
I'll run the back door. We're heading to the farm. And we're not gonna start the next field because tomorrow is Sunday and the elevator doesn't open till noon. So we'll get everything ready tonight. So first thing in the morning we can wake up and start combining and fill everything up before the elevator opens. It was daylight when we left and now it's dark. Just pulling into the farm. Gonna park this in front of the fuel pumps. Fill this thing up with fuel and def. Blow out the filters. And uh, then she'll be ready for tomorrow. I don't think I'm able to reach the def pump. I gotta get power from my combine. The hose is definitely long enough, but the power cord isn't long enough to reach the other side of the machine so I can run the pump. So. That sucks. I'll have to move it when I get done putting fuel in it. Well, that's gonna be all for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.